We're going to the grocery store. One of my favorite things to do when I travel to a new country is go to their grocery store. Mainly because I find most of the grocery stores outside of the United States to be cheaper, which is a huge plus. But also every country has a unique style and you can learn a thing or two about the country's culture and their way of life. See, like I said in my last video, I've been super homesick. So when I go to a grocery store, I'm trying to cook things that are kind of more familiar to me and the food I eat back at home. And something really interesting happened, which is when I go to this grocery store here in Morocco, there are things that are a little different and things that really scratch my curiosity. So I want to show you guys what I found really interesting. See, let's take a look at the classic Moroccan grocery store and how it's similar to the American grocery store. They have all the necessary aspects. They have the frozen aisle, they have the dry aisle, they have the meat aisle, they have an aisle to buy toiletries. Don't be deceived. Let's look at the big differences. Right off the bat, you see that they exclusively sell milk warm on the shelf. In the United States, you always buy cold milk, but here they sell milk at room temperature. So to really answer the question of like, in America, you get all your milk in the fridge. This is what we were grown up to believe. And I've noticed this a few places in Europe, but as I've lived in Morocco for the last four weeks, I've noticed this. And I decided to go on Google to figure out what the safety reasons are or why that this happens. So this is actually funny from TripAdvisor. There was a forum here and someone literally just said, do not eat, I repeat, do not eat the dairy products here. The milk, butter, cheese are not refrigerated. Um, they say that Moroccans are self-believing that they're strong and they won't get hurt, except there's a lot of diseases and a lot of people get sick. And I really don't believe as much as what this person's saying. I've also heard from other people, uh, like an Airbnb host, that it, the, it's, it's fairly fresh and you can use that milk for a very long period of time. And I'll be honest, I've used this milk uh, for the last three weeks and I haven't gotten sick, so. They also sell eggs in warm settings and room temperature instead of putting it in the cold section. Let's talk about the eggs because again with this TripAdvisor forum, they're saying you shouldn't have the eggs that are just shelved. They should be in the fridge. I'll be the first one to say that. Even when I was in Berlin, there was literally just a tray, a box of eggs uh, away from the refrigerator. It was at room temperature. Um, and I ate that for two weeks and I was totally fine. And I've been eating the eggs as well uh, here for the last three weeks and I'm fine. The other cool aspect of the grocery store is how there are actually just mounds of different spices. And my personal favorite, there's literally a mound of rice. Good luck trying to find that in the United States. And what I think is so cool again is that like there's mounds of these spices. And if you know traditional Moroccan food, their meals consist of, you know, like a typical meal like the tagine or the couscous or all their meats and everything. It's seasoned with a certain style of spices. The list here again, I think the most traditional spices here that are in Morocco is cayenne pepper, cinnamon, turmeric, ginger, black pepper, sesame seeds, cumin, paprika, and saffron. But yeah, anyway. So what I decided to do was buy items that I would never buy if I saw that in the grocery store in the United States. The fastest way to break your negative views on something is to actually immerse yourself in that one thing that scares you. All right, so two of the things that I think are kind of odd, I think from the American culture, which is warm milk sold on a dry shelf and same with eggs. We're gonna try this out and kind of break the stereotype and show that you know, I've been having this stuff for three weeks now and I'm not sick yet, so let's try this. Let's start with the eggs first. We're gonna crack some eggs onto this you know, see-through cup so you guys can check it out. So we're gonna take two. I'm also gonna have an egg sandwich right now, so this is gonna be my lunch. But take two brown eggs. We're gonna crack it here. One egg right there. Pretty much, if you look through the eggs, they look pretty normal, just like any other the eggs. They smell just like eggs. Uh, I actually really don't like the smell of eggs before they're cooked, but they smell normal. Uh, we're gonna cook these and see how they are. It cooks like normal eggs. Definitely smells like how eggs should be smelling when they're cooking. Mm -hmm. Just like I suspected. Tastes exactly the same. All right, the next thing we're gonna try is the milk. So here's the cup. 
We're gonna see the color of it to make sure it compares well to normal uh, milk that's in the fridge. Ugh, spilling everywhere. All right, if you look at the texture here, it looks pretty good to me. It smells like normal milk. Let's drink it. <sighs> Tastes just like milk. Um, and from based on pe what people have said on the streets here, this milk actually lasts a little longer. So, you know, it's pretty good. So, we're gonna take a bite of this, and see how it tastes. Mm. Give me too much. At the end of this experience, you realize that you were raised to believe in a certain way of life, but that's not always the case. My journey of buying warm milk and eggs from the counter that were not stored in a fridge setting is more of a symbol of not looking at things as different or strange or weird, but rather an opportunity to see life in a different light. Get it? A light? Uh, anyway, this video was really fun to make. Uh, I'm really interested because like every time I go to a new country, I love going to the grocery store. I love like checking out the prices, checking out what they have that's so uniquely different. Uh, and one of the things that really gravitated my attention towards was the spices, the mounds of spices that uh, these, uh, these grocery stores have. So in my video next week, I'm actually going to be using these spices to actually cook a traditional meal. It's definitely going to happen and I'm super excited about that. Also, if this is your first time actually watching my video or you've been watching my videos for the last few weeks now, I actually have an Instagram, at HirschPatel92. So here's the thing, I make one good video every single week on YouTube about something that scratches my curiosity. There's a lot of things I am actually curious about but that don't make it onto my YouTube videos. So I am actually going to be starting and posting videos on my Instagram about the things that actually make me curious but don't have the time or it's not beefy enough to make it into a video. So make sure to follow me there. And that's it for me for this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, do all the things that you need to, and I'll see you in the next